Hey, what's happening? Happy New Year. Oh my gosh, it's 2016. We're just so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. So, hello. <laughs> By the way, Nine, as you already know, I'm <laughs> bring it back. New ways to I say don't know. hello. <laughs> you went back to hey real quick today. <laughs> We're touring yeah. around. All right, Ooh. my name's Will. This is James. This is Nine. Yo. All right, so let's talk about this brand new year, 2016, some games that are coming out. It's 2016. This, it's 2016. Jesus. Can you believe? What? What? Six months till E3. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that's, good point. <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. That's perspective right there. That's how we gauge time uh, now. That's how I gauge time. E3 is <laughs> in the middle of the year, man. There's some other important things happening around there, but not as important as Kids' birthdays, sorry. stuff like that. But, you know, so, oh, E3. Anniversaries. <laughs> yeah, that's what I know. So, you know, in December of 2015, not a lot going on, game release-wise. Mm. No, but uh, there's pretty big stuff at the end of the year yeah i don't know well i mean they wanted to leave you room to play fallout well yeah. those games came out in yeah. november I'm yeah sorry. in december i mean there were some amazing titles through the holiday season and obviously as people are still buying those titles i'm just saying yeah. month of december for release wise not a lot not a of big lot. i think just cause three was probably the biggest release definitely they had. yeah cows Cows, mm. helicopters, <laughs> blowing yeah. things up. All right, so, and, you know, it, no offense to these games, no major, major titles coming out this month, but there are some good things. So let's go through them, There's and then we'll talk about the ones that stick out to you guys. Mm. Okay, uh, so Banner Saga coming out this month. Actually, I'm just going to go through the list, and then we'll talk no, about that. Go for it. Banner Saga, Resident Evil Zero. There was another Resident Evil game, right? Yeah, Resident Evil Remastered and Resident Evil Zero Remastered. Mm. How many Resident Evil remastered games? All of them. They're going to do every single one, they're, it seems I mean, like. They're yeah. totally rebooting two, the best one. Re like, well, we can't, rebooting. We can't, <laughs> we can't make good new ones, so we're just going to revitalize the old Pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's basically that's it. That's exactly it right yeah. there. So when we talk about Resident Evil, I guess we talk about it like this. Yeah, that's good well, for me. <laughs> uh, the Witness uh, that's comes out. That's a big out. title. Yeah. Zombie. Uh, will okay. come out. Lego Marvel Avengers, big title. Dragon yeah. Quest, and Final Fantasy Saga. So, James, I'll start with you. Out of that list, what's a game that stands out to you that you're excited about? Uh, Banner Saga I've already played, uh, but uh, I think it's awesome for people that don't have you know, like PC access to try that game out. Sure. It's wonderful, love tactical uh, kind of games. Um, I would say The Witness. Yeah. 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 Love puzzle games. Yeah. Like, I'm so looking forward to The Witness. Yeah. I want to know so much about that game. Is that your game of January? That'll be my game of January. Yeah. Yeah. And, like I said uh, on another episode too, Lego Marvel Avengers. I'll probably get around to that because yeah. you know. It's Lego. Good it Lego Marvel. game. Yeah. And Marvel What's can't go wrong. What's not to like? Exactly. I'll talk about one of my choices, um, but I'll have to wait until the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. I had to do that. <laughs> There's, there's people out there that'll appreciate that. Anyway, we're talking about games in January. My name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Eight. Okay, so my pick um, now, Zombie You. I actually really enjoyed. I thought it was great. Good use of the gamepad. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting to see this game getting remade. Uh, so it's a it's a to torn choice for me between that and actually Dragon Quest. And this is Dragon Quest Builders. Oh, <laughs> not not Dragon Quest. Difference. <laughs> so this is still a different game, just like Dragon Quest Heroes was more of like a uh, right. dragon or not Dragon Warriors. Yeah, Dragon Warriors. Dragon Warriors. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm confused. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm going with Zombie <laughs> on this one. I changed. You, you're not what I was gonna about say. Final Fantasy Explorers. Uh, well, 3DS. That's a great title. I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm more of a... It's all Final Fantasy characters in one game, which I, is kind of cool. I think that's great. I, that's I, a really cool concept. And this is the one where they switch back and forth yeah. between... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, seeing interactions between those characters yeah. will be really interesting. Cloud like, and Squall. I, think, I want to put Cloud and Squall in the same yeah. Oh, God, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be great. Crack me up. Yeah, uh, like you... I think you were going to say, like, I don't have a lot of time for my 3DS yeah. stuff. I'm always, like, put it on the console or... Well, I was going to say, bring me Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. I mean, I will, yeah. that's what I want for my next Final Fantasy experience. I'm just... I can't wait for it. You know, that's... Bring reboot? Yeah, I was going to say, bring me Final Fantasy VII Reboot that's without, not gonna come without out. episodic content. That's not going to come I'm out so before stoked. 15, though. Yeah. Right? At this point, I don't know which one's coming out first. <laughs> it's hard to tell with them. pretty far along. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I, I've got to... I, I mean, Final Fantasy XV will definitely come out. You can hold me to that. Um, All right. I think Zombie, though. I mean, I, I really enjoy that. I'm just uh, interested in how they're going to bypass the gamepad yeah. mechanics into the game. Yeah. Because you, know, you, you would the game doesn't pause. I guess you, right. 
you get into your backpack, you can do stuff and things still happen. I guess you can still do that. You just have to be more conscious. It probably has like a, a see-through kind of effect when you pull up the menu. Or you could do a lot with the vibration. You know, if somewhere, yeah. something's getting closer, Tactile. your heart your heart races a little bit more. That would be cool, actually. I'd like that. Yeah. The light bar on the PS4 controller. Yeah. Um, but, you know, LEGO Marvel Avengers, um, that's... Huge title. That's a big title. First yeah. open world LEGO game. Like, truly open world LEGO game. That's a big deal. That is a big that's deal. A really big because deal. Uh, in uh, LEGO Marvel Heroes, that was probably the most fun, was just running around the city. Yeah. Saving so. Stan Lee in several different... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah in, every, in every way that you could, yeah. Now, can you... Will this tie in in any way with LEGO Dimensions at all? I don't know. No, 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 no. So your characters, you can't... No? You don't get little characters for this one. You, this is just like your standard Lego game. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, it's just like it's going more towards the Avengers route of things instead of focusing yeah. on all the Marvel heroes. Because you got to make that distinction. On the Avenger storyline. So Hulk, Hawkeye, Black Widow. Um, it I plays think that the creates first two movies. Like, I think that creates back. a big window for comedy, though. Yeah. You know, having those characters to focus on and their dynamics. So. And Lego's really good about that. They are great. I mean, I, I think the, the Dimensions was a cool thing, so I'm sure they can, like, add more characters into that, though, right? Oh, and Dimensions? Yeah. It's just, it's just like Skylanders and, yeah. they can and do whatever the they Amiibos. Want. They can just do whatever they want. Which is, yeah, right. right. Or not Amiibos, uh, Infinity. Yeah. But there are Amiibos in Skylanders. Let's not get on that. That's a whole different <laughs> spiel. I do, I do think that that's a crazy like model that we're seeing coming out now, though, which is basically blending f the physical and digital medium. Well, it's making it like you know, action figures worthwhile for kids now again. And you know? if you think about it, it's just microtransactions on a physical scale. It is. That's yeah. all it is. And and as as a parent, uh, these it's aren't really it's microtransactions. Kind of Some of these are twelve dollars to yeah. twenty five dollars. Oh yeah, there's right. a gold Mario. That's when we get back, expensive. sorry, to cut you guys off. When we yeah. get back, we're gonna talk about Kingdom Hearts microtransactions and some uh, PlayStation VR news right after this. Hey, welcome back. Uh, Going to talk about some hey, uh, some Kingdom Hearts as promised. Let's get into that again. You're watching Press Start TV and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. It's James. Okay, Kingdom Hearts uh, got some new trailers. Yay! I have not seen them, so I'll leave it up to you guys to explain to me what's going on. Uh, well, the first trailer was 2.8 HD, which is the the last three titles that were released in Japan to come. Stateside, oh, I'm sorry, two titles that were released in Japan to come stateside, and then Dream Drop Distance getting a console release. Right, okay. So you've got Birth by Sleep point, 0 0.2, which was a Japanese special edition release for the PSP. Are they adding anything to any of these games, or um, just re they're, they're. I think the point two is an HD upgrade. Okay. So the graphics are updated to fit the textures and but stuff. But no story changes. There's no, no story yeah. changes, um, because this stuff was previously released. Right. So the story in this one is slightly different than the actual Birth by Sleep on PSP in America. You get more information. Not so much the story's changed, you just get more bits of information. Okay. And then Kingdom Hearts X scale, you get all the cinematics. Did you see these trailers? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, okay, so let's talk about three. So that's the game three. that a lot of people are super pumped about. Three looks great. Yeah. So what was the new, what do they show off? Uh, Any new levels like or yeah, I was gonna say combat, which I really combat. feel like in a trailer you kind of want that. You want to see how like what you're gonna spend most of the time in the game doing, and it looks pretty exciting. Like I, I think you were talking about uh, when that flash ability yeah, pops he, up and he's he zipping around the new, whole map. Sora gets this new ability where he can, like, he like pulls up this periscope looking thing, mm -hmm. and he highlights all the enemies, and then he just like lightning dashes across and hits them all automatically. Yeah, kind of like it, an auto target system, but he slashes through them and causes electricity damage. And nice. All stuff. Looks really really cool. And, and you can't say until you have hands on the controller <coughs> or anything, but it looks very intuitive and just oh, very looks, smooth. Looks so much fun. Butter, man, looks butter. Yeah, and then uh, uh, I don't know if this was already answered or not, but are we going to see any Star Wars things in this? I don't this? think I Star so, Wars is making its appearance in, in, in this one. In this one, because A, they acquired the franchise long after the game had already been. That's what I was later. worried about, but I did want a lightsaber keyblade, so. Uh, <laughs> That's not <laughs> to say that, that there won't be Star Wars style stuff sure. in the game. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just like that. I mean, yeah, that would that would just really that's all I need. We all know Mickey is a Jedi. Yes. Yep. He already yeah, is. That, so. that, he's yeah. been a Jedi for years. Well, he rocks the look. <laughs> and, exactly. You know, I think that's the key to, to, to success is great gameplay, great story, but also finding a way to intertwine these franchises that everybody's already so familiar with. Yeah. That's right. the beauty of the game anyway. 
the it really is. Like, that game is the centerpiece. Just, I love the way they connected all the stories from both Square's worlds and Disney's worlds. And they do it well. It doesn't seem like a tacky, like, hey, remember we made these. Go out yeah. and buy these DVDs. Like, no, it's good. It's really good. And it's cool to go explore those worlds yeah, in a sure. way that you never did before. All right. So, uh, so oh, one just, thing, though, when yeah. you watch that trailer, Japanese Mickey, it's worth it just for that. <laughs> uh, it's, wonderfully, it's wonderfully creepy. Yeah. All right. Uh, just some other quick news on Smash Brothers. Some of you have... Uh, already know this, but those of you who don't, Cloud is now in Smash Brothers as a playable She's character. Still so weird. And Bayonetta uh, making an appearance in Smash Brothers as well. That's so not look out for those. To me. No, not since they got the Wii exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. I just so. love. I, I can say continue to knock. I think put it's everybody to be in there. More hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Just don't stop. <laughs> just don't keep stop. Going. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Make yeah. it more awesome. Uh, nine, um, you know, we talked about Kingdom Hearts. Let's talk about something else that's near and dear to your heart. Yeah. Microtransactions. <laughs> so apparently, Call of Duty mm. has. The latest, the latest Call of Duty update introduced two things microtransactions for like gun skins and badges and perks and all kinds of stupid stuff. Pay to win, pretty much. No. That's that's where it, I just that that's the worst element of it. Like if it's a cosmetic you change, I mean, you don't have to do it or something. That's, that's my fine. that's my whole thing. Yeah, yeah I don't, See, I, if you want to do we're on the same stuff, link. Yeah, and we didn't even talk. I mean, it's. I, I mean, think most people. That is the opinion of most people. Like yeah. in Destiny, you can do yeah, the dances. Yeah, we'll go with Destiny again. yeah <laughs> but see that that's the thing. It wasn't anything that's going to give you an advantage. But right. here, pay to win. We introduced that when you introduce yes. that element, it, it essentially breaks the game, especially for more than anybody like the younger crowd because they don't have jobs and stuff to just like put it yeah. into it. And the older crowd will usually justify that, or the working man is just like, well, I don't have you know, time like, to I play. Ain't got Seventy some hours to dedicate to grinding five hundred levels. Yeah. To get so to I'd rather grind. pay to do it, but I just don't like paying for an advantage. Yeah, I, I don't, don't either. That's uh, yeah. And then th also, there's enough of that in the real world. Like right. le leave the video games alone and let yeah. me like be let based everybody on my let skill. everybody be on the same level. Yes, yeah. yep. so to speak. I mean, sh certainly you should be awarded <coughs> if you have put in the time and the hours and all that. Yeah, you should get perks because you've earned them in and, the and, game. And to expand upon what we were talking about, uh, even, but I don't justify a game that's uh, asking you to pay for cosmetic changes when it's something that should have been included with the game anyway, like when it doesn't have a lot of customization and they're going to exactly. try to f fork money out of you when there wasn't enough content to begin with. I feel like that's the, one of the biggest plaguing things in the gaming industry right now is releasing half cock content and then being like, yeah, well, you can get basically what should be the full game if you buy the season pass for 50 bucks. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot to be desired with that whole model. I mean, there is a happy median in there somewhere. Like, I think the the Witcher did a pretty good job Witcher of, with job. its content. Witcher had so much free stuff. I think, I think oh. Bethes Bethesda's, free. Yeah, Bethesda's yeah. got it right. I think the, you get your money's worth with their season pass. Yeah. I mean, even even Fallout as a standard release was one of the very few games I played, and I was like. Yeah, I'm happy with the amount of content I have in this, oh, with the sure. amount of weapons and customization. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, and so some examples are, are, are good, others not so much. Yeah. All right, so uh, moving on, uh, PlayStation VR processor. So for those of you who are excited about the whole VR concept, you're probably familiar with Oculus, <laughs> you're probably familiar with the Morpheus. You might already have Samsung's Oculus for mobile games. Gear. Um, mm. Gear, Gear yeah. VR, it, yeah. It's... Okay, uh, but I, I, you know, for for those gamer gamers, I mean, you're gonna look at the Oculus platform, the Morpheus, and possibly uh, Valve's. It's uh, not called Morpheus anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, PlayStation, PlayStation VR. VR. Yeah, that's the official. I title. liked Morpheus. I liked Morpheus better yeah. too. It, it, yeah. it seemed more immersive. <laughs> but the, the take the red. Really quick, just to get it in, the the processor for the Oculus, which is what you'll need to use the equipment. Fairly big. It's about the size of a, a PC, kind of like that, that. That's. I mean, that's the. The dev kit builds, And obviously. then the one for PlayStation VR is about the size of a Wii. It's slightly smaller than a Wii. Slightly smaller. That's crazy. But do, you, do you think that's going to actually affect how it plays out? Or? No. Yeah, that's All what right. I was going to say. We're going to have more after this. We're going to talk about the Dreamcast right after this when we get back. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we just got done talking about Kingdom Hearts, microtransactions, PlayStation VR, all that kind of stuff. Games of January. And now let's get into some more news and some possible rumors. Ooh. <laughs> um, again, you're watching Listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is James. This is Nine. Yo. Um, <clears throat> there's possible rumors about a Dreamcast 2. <laughs> this. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember this. the original rumors of Dreamcast. <laughs> I love this because this was a project that started long after the Dreamcast was already well destroyed in the market, mm -hmm. and Sega had switched to just games and. This has been an ongoing project for years now. And and, and, and to clarify, this is something that Sega, Sega is, is not, not involved doing. with. Right. This is not a Sega endorsed property in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. This is a group of guys who really love the Dreamcast and were trying to relive that experience. Gotcha. And they're like, hey, we're still working on this. We're still developing it. We're still going to make it happen. They, There is that group that continues to produce games for the thing. They, the Dreamcast the had first. a release this year. Yeah. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, yeah. but it had a release this year. It was, it was such Japan a sleeper. People in Japan games for it. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Because the thing with the Dreamcast is it came out, it. Yeah. and it was the greatest thing for about six months. Yeah, and then PS2 came out. Well, that what, PS2 what didn't even come coffin? out. Yeah. PS2 just announced itself. Yeah. Yeah. And then once it announced itself, it was just like... All, all of it died off of Dreamcast, Dreamcast, but Dreamcast was an excellent console. Oh, it's and, fantastic. And it was one of the first that allowed uh, like such, such a good multiplayer support. Um, ahead of its time. It had, yeah. it had the, the little VR things inside the controllers mm, yeah. where you VR, can look the at VMU, the... VMU, the virtual the memory. VMU, yeah. yeah. Playing Madden, you could call your plays from yep. the thing without the other person seeing your play call. Genius. I yeah, mean, it was cool. Then, then some it, games it was like kind of Resident sad Evil, that it got overshadowed. Or 2K, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica had the downloadable mini game for the VMU, so you could take it so out, you could play that. take it to school, <laughs> and play it in your little, you know, backpack, and then Final, uh, not Final Fantasy, um, Time Stalkers. Yeah. An RPG for it had a game you could download onto it and raise pets and stuff. <laughs> I mean, the, in the also the Dreamcast had some stellar titles, Soul Calibur on the oh, Dreamcast. Oh, Soul Calibur. Man, yeah. I'm so yeah. thankful for that. I'll tell you another one of my favorite games on the Dreamcast, Power Stone. Love those games. Yep. Both of them. Man. Yep. I don't know what I'd do without Soul Calibur. I, I'm a I huge fighting game fan, and that's one of my all-time. That times. game continues to stand the test of time. So yep. awesome. I think Power Stone yeah, holds a, a better spot in the Brawler universe than, mm. than Smash originally did. Yeah. Originally, sure. I mean, I, Power Stone. Because Power Stone took it from a two, a, a, a flat, traditional side-scrolling fighter to a full 3D platform. Yeah, roller. totally. And bring that back to a, a current <laughs> Power Stone on the new consoles, man. Yeah. So what are they? What's the idea with the Dreamcast 2? Is they going to try to match up technical? That's what I was wondering. Like, are you going to try to go toe to toe with the Titans right now? I don't know what their plan is. I are, we talked they're... about ColecoVision the last episode. Maybe they try to do something similar that to that. Niche, to yeah, something niche, like where you have. I mean, like, even the people that are still homebrewing games for the Dreamcast is a very niche crowd. Mm -hmm. And are these so, guys like an actual totally developer team? Is this a studio? Is, or is it two dudes them? like funded by Kickstarter? Came out, <laughs> you know, like that's said, hey. We're still doing this. I'd heard rumors about it long ago, and I was like, well, that's kind of cool if it ever makes it. Mm -hmm. but it's I say, been I say, years now, and bring it on. And, and what would be really cool is if Sega produces games for it. That would be awesome. I think it'd be really cool if Sega. they kept like the VMUs. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. That would be awesome. Mm. You know, yeah. PlayStation did that one time, too. Hmm. I don't remember that. The Pocket Station. Oh, it was a memory card system that was only available in Japan, and there's only a couple games that actually supported the use of it. Man, I, I've there's got a, there's a, a spot fancy, in my memory bank Fantasy somewhere. There's a Fantasy Chocobo <laughs> racing game. And it's you it's full of more. Japanese exclusives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, dude, I, I know a lot of weird stuff. Well, they, they, oh, have, cool. they have so much great stuff that we never Japanese see. Japanese so Yeah, yeah, that's a good so point. So much cooler stuff that we yeah. never get to see. Yeah. All, All right, so the Dreamcast 2, we'll see if it comes to be. Hopefully it does. Uh, bring on more awesome. games. Yeah, absolutely. I can um, uh, in competitive esports news, the 2016 Halo World Championships are going on right now, yep. and gamers are competing for prizes in excess of two million dollars. Nice. Yes. Mm. Finally, a Halo championship that won't fall flat on its face. <laughs> I mean, Halo is. Because, man, a lot of people, it's kind of like GoldenEye for the 64. They, yeah. they grew up with it. They play it. They always reference it. It's actually, that's the granddad of multi. I mean, every COD, Call of Duty, they all owe everything to GoldenEye. But Halo, for a lot of people, 
um, because of their age or just getting into it or whatever, really started getting into, I mean, this blew up. This was a game that just blew up. I think it's up. like a number of factors. Halo was one of the first things to actually do like online multiplayer support. Really and well. Yeah, yeah, and that really allowed well. people to play all over the yeah. world. And, and it built the Xbox Live network. Yeah. Like That's, Halo that, it was is the just, reason Xbox Live exists. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. I so, think Halo is the reason why Xbox exists. Still exists. Pretty yeah. much. It, it was. It saved, yeah. it saved that first true. console and so forth. That first so console had a very rough struggle. Halo. And so also to, think, uh, see, de depending, I'll put you on my back. Right? <laughs> yeah, I got you, dog. Um, depending on which Halo we're talking about, for the most part, uh, Halo, the the core of the series, is very skill based. You know, yeah. it's not like you, you, know, you, you can't, can't just run in and pull a trigger and win. Ex it's exactly, different. Yeah. yeah, if you're expecting to be Call of Duty, it's not. Yeah, it's and that's why Call of Duty feel. doesn't really get the same competitive skill yeah. because it's not as like even ground, and even ground's what you want. In a and so that must game. have been a conscious effort by the developers making Halo Five that you know we know oh, that we're going to take this. Absolutely, and it's the only game where players, adamant players, understand how the hitboxes work and where the hitboxes are and the, the core mechanics of the design of the multiplayer. Yeah. Most other games, nobody cares about that stuff. COD, you don't hear people talking about that, that, that kind of stuff. No, I mean, some similarities are the same mean, because you have to know the maps well, you have to know your right. weapons, you have to know your character, you have to know what works, but yeah. It's Halo is the deepest hardcore multiplayer combat audience. All right, find. so check out that, follow the footage, look it up online. Thank you so much for joining us. You can check out all of our content on PressStartTV.com. Happy New Year. We love you guys. Until next time, we'll see you. 2016. 2016. <laughs>